Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston with Our Blooming Catholic Life, and it's been a huge time since I've looked at this publication, Day 41, it's publication of 40 Days for Life, and why am I doing it now? You know why. What do we do now? What if you're li living in a state that still has abortion? What if you're living in one that doesn't right now? What if you're in one that's caught up in lawsuits? What do you do? Um, not everyone has access to this magazine. It just magically appears in my mailbox, so I don't have to worry about it, but maybe you haven't gotten it. Um, I'm going to tell you how to get it, first of all, and then we're just going to do a brief overview through it. If you just want to go ahead and get it now, go to www.4.0, those are the numbers, 40daysforlife.com. I'm going to try and put it in the description below as well as the phone number, which is 1-888-LIFE-316. So I'm going to put those in the description below. But I feel like you're going to need to see in here. Stay tuned to the end because there's some super resources at the end that you don't want to miss. Let's get in here. And it's two key post row America, two key numbers. Oh, <laughs> two key numbers in a post row America. America. See, they're being clever because the numbers are inside post row America, but also the numbers. So 75% and 45%. 40 Days for Life prepared for a post row America and hit the ground running with the first in person post row symposium. 40 Days for Life University and a record number of volunteers training to end abortion. So we're ramping up our game, folks. Inside this issue, there's an article from Pro-Life Legal Cent Corner, which is the post-row legal landscape. And that's going to explain that to you maybe a little bit better than you've heard before. Sorry, forgot to turn the ceiling fan off inside and it's driving me nuts. Um, the news is a big win for babies and free speech in Germany. If you haven't heard that story, it's very exciting. The cover story is the faces of Row. Um, 18 international perspectives, how overturning Row helps end abortion around the world. The guest column is the abortion survivor, Claire Colwell. And the interview is with Abby Johnson. Let's start over here then. This is actually summer 2022 edition, volume six, issue two. Don't fall for dysfunctional compassion. That is the letter from the president. I think this is super duper important. What we hoped and prayed for finally happened. The Supreme Court got out of the dehumanization building. <laughs> Can't talk today. What we hoped and prayed for finally happened. The Supreme Court got out of the dehumanization business once and for all. Now the real work begins and we have hit the ground running as you'll see in this issue of Day 41. The Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade and send abortion back to the states is something 40 Days for Life is ready for. We have campaigns across the country this fall, and those campaigns are now strengthened by the launch of 40 Days for Life University. Oh, I was going to say that to the end. He's giving that away right away. My interviews with NBC News, the BBC, and other secular media outlets reveal that in the post row world, abortion advocates, which all the reporters who interviewed me clearly are, have only three options to justify abortion. They can argue it's a good thing to stop human hearts from beating which is, would be awkward. Two, they can get mad. Ooh, they did that. Three, deny science and complain about how hard it will be to get an abortion. Actually, they went with four. That's not in the article, but we know they ran with four. They started saying that women are going to die because they need something that's not actually an abortion. But uh, women's medical care will suffer because abortion doesn't exist and doctors are going to be afraid to perform medical procedures which is an outright lie and if your doctor okay some doctors may be doing that if your doctor is doing that friends that is medical malpractice and you need to find a new doctor i know it's an emergency situation and maybe maybe the pro-life movement can set up a hotline to, to get you that medical care that you need um we know it says here, the secular media outlets, I'm back to the article, which have done so much for so long to distract so many from the barbaric reality of abortion, have chosen number three. Reporters don't address the fact that abortion stops a beating heart, and they don't get angry like creation abortion advocates we encounter on the street. 
No, they just ask the same tired questions about abortion access over and over, lamenting that doctors will no longer be able to kill babies for money. The media gave no thought to what pro-lifers are talking about or why. It's like they're complaining on behalf of plantation owners about how difficult it will be to get a slave after abolition. These reporters seem to expect some sort of dysfunctional compassion or sympathy, all because it's no longer easy and convenient to end an unborn child's life. There's no consideration of the true compassion found in the vast network of resources that empower a mom and baby to thrive in spite of a difficult pregnancy. And there's no discussion of how ending abortion will benefit the baby girl or baby boy whose life, freedom, and aspirations weigh in the balance. I share this to encourage you to speak up. The abortion advocates in your workplace or family resort to long outdated science or anger over restrictions on abortion. I would add they are appealing to fear. That has been their key tactic. We now have a great opportunity oh, that I've encountered. We now have a great opportunity to evangelize the gospel of life and foster true conversion of heart. All these state laws, as well as the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe, are an extension of what we have seen on the sidewalk for 15 years worth of 40 days for life vigils. This is a battle for hearts, minds, and souls. The media is not interested in hearts, minds, and souls, but we are. And that's why we're winning the battle to end abortion at the grassroots level. And it's why prayer, fasting, and showing up on the sidewalk are more important than ever before. And that's from Sharn Carney. Um, they, I don't even remember that this was in the table of contents. A Night to Remember. So it's a little bit of a, um, what is it, Vice President Mike Pence went to Texas for the first annual 40 Days for Life National Gala. And they raised money to support local 40 Days for Life campaigns in the U.S. and around the world. Here are is a look at some of the politics and I want to tell you they've bulleted it they've let you know it's done very simplicity I'm going to tell you like it's bulleted lists they've made it as clear as they could and I think most of us are going to appreciate that um, let's see here so it's like what we know what, what are the subheadings um, there's a summary of Justice Alito's position in the decision that says, what does Dobbs mean for abortion in America? What we know now. So what now? Um, the so what now is the feds. Look out for the federal government trying to impose abortion on states by, and then it gives a list, and then what we will likely see in the state. The work has just begun. Don't stop. Pray fast and act to show your love. I love how that's really our mantra. Pray fast, act to show your love. Those are the most important things. Remember, they're launching a campaign of fear on women that, that they'll die and not be able to get care for ectopic pregnancies or miscarriages. And just fear that women won't be able to choose their jobs. The whole forced pregnancy language, that's fear mongering. There, there is nobody forcing you. Put your handmaid's Halloween costumes away. Nobody is doing forced pregnancy. Um, it feels like quite the opposite in most areas. But um, forced pregnancy would involve the initial act that created the baby. This is saying, hey, we should really give resources to support moms and babies. We're talking about once the baby is already made, what do you do? Um, there is a moment of hope. This is a feature on page eight and it includes a photo of people standing in front of, I don't know if that's a van or a bus or what it is, free ultrasounds and pregnancy tests. Let's see here, what is this? Oh, it talks about the vehicle. Um, what is it? He leads, da, 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 da. it's called a moment of hope is actually the name of their little organization in Columbia, South Carolina. He picked up a mobile ultrasound RV. How is that a thing? And he would park it around he or um, around the town. And he has used the vehicle as a private counseling space to save babies from abortion. So it's a mobile unit and it says, it says it gives you free ultrasounds and pregnancy tests. It's not saying anything, making any other offers. There's no false claims. Don't you love how that's one of the fear things that that uh, pregnancy centers are so deceptive? Again, they're fear mongering. 
If they were truly pro-choice friends, you wouldn't have lawmakers trying to shut down pregnancy resource centers. Like, oh! <gasps> they're literally pregnancy resource centers. They're resource, they're place, they're centers for pregnant women to go and get resources. They're called pregnancy resource centers. Like, I, I don't, I don't know what you don't understand. They may use the word crisis as well because normally the mother is very upset and that's fair use of that word too. I don't know. Things get crazy. There's a little page on here about some matching endowments and different opportunities. Very nice. To support the ministry. Frankfurt, Germany, 40 Days for Life Court Triumph is a big win for babies and free speech. Um, this tells you about abortion supporters in Frankfurt, Germany did everything they could to silence the pro-lifers. But after six years and a series of major legal values, the pro-life voice is stronger than ever. It was fighting a buffer zone ordinance. It required pro-life vigil participants to remain at least 150 meters away from the regional abortion counseling center during business hours. At the end of the rare on-site trial, an all-woman panel of judges concluded that the peaceful prayer, pro-life witness, and display of 40 Days for Life posters did not constitute a danger to public order or a violation of pregnant women's rights. The monumental decision striking down the buffer zone ordinance has 40 Days for Life volunteers back out praying and saving lives in front of Frankfurt's pro-familia abortion business during its hours of operation for the first time in more than two years. Lovely. Let's see that. Interesting note on the side, buffer zone ordinances wouldn't be introduced if prayer vigils did not have an impact saving lives from abortion. Prayer vigils work, friends. Crushing the abortion industry's business. This is a nice infographic showing you different percentages, pictures. It's very clear and easy to understand, so don't worry. If you get this journal, it's not going to be over your head. They really break things down sim very simplistically for everyone. <laughs> Even if I use words I can't pronounce. The faces of Roe, um, they're highlighting different people who have fought. Let's see, there are a number of them here. Oh yeah, former abortionists. They have Dr. Elvita King, um, that's Christy Hofferber in front of Planned Parenthood. Just mothers are brave. It's just, just lovely, a series of photos and really short articles that you, I think will really encourage you. Overturning Roe is sending shockwaves around the world and they're letting you know other countries that this is having an impact on. Now, I just got this today, so they probably didn't hear yesterday's news before they published it, that the UN is trying to claim that abortion is a human right. And if they succeed in doing that, and I'll tell you friends, Africa and I believe Guatemala are really you know, a bunch of African nations, sorry, I don't know which ones specifically they weren't mentioned in the article I read, as well as I believe it's Guatemala, are heavily fighting this. If this gets passed by the UN, it will do, it will affect so many decisions in getting aid and other things to third world countries that really need it. It's basically saying, if you don't kill your babies, we won't help you. That's sick. <laughs> that is sick. Um... The fundamental human right, UN, is to life. How about we work on that? Because without life, nothing, none of those other rules matter. It needs to be life. Again, I interjected that in. That is not from 40 Days for Life. Exporting the end of abortion. This is from the director of Latin American campaigns of 40 Days for Life. And it, it talks about when Mexico City legalized abortion back in 2007, pro-lifers were caught unprepared but the abortion advocates were ready. So this is an interesting contrast on lessons learned from that. This is an abortion survivor speaking out. She survived two attempts on her life before she was born. That's insane. Living God's Fierce Mercy with Abby Johnson. It has a different a series of pictures and it's an interview, so it's a back and forth with Sean Carney, the president of 40 Days for Life. Now, if you watch this far, this is the exciting announcement I wanted to share with you. It's on the back of the brochure. Oh, I don't even know. Can you scan that? That'd be very interesting. If not, um, here's their social media contact. Oh, can, you, can I get them all in? I think they're all there. Their social media contacts. 
here is what it is for just $29 friends $29 training cost and you need to be 18 years of age or older you can do this 40 days for life university has a brand new sidewalk outreach training it is simple effective and doable it provides you with the tools you need to initiate the most important con conversation in the world a conversation that will save lives friends it's a six module training course equipping you to offer help and hope to abortion facility clients from the spiritual foundations of sidewalk outreach to proven techniques for engaging abortion clients to legal principles this program will give you confidence as you hit the streets and empower women to choose life what you'll get for your 29 dollars six on-demand video-based training modules that you can complete at your convenience you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to worry about traveling and restrictions and what's going on with the airlines you don't have to worry about this the six on-demand video-based training modules at your convenience in your own home or wherever you choose to do it. maybe you're going to do it with a group of friends i don't know but you would also get a 40 days for life t-shirt so maybe you should each get your own because you're not going to share the t-shirt that's a little gross friend you would also get the national best-selling book what to say when the complete new guide to discussion abortion <coughs> that word was not a word okay this is a women of grace sticker I put it on my cup myself. They're not sponsors of the program. I just like the sticker. Sorry, I forgot that was there. That was a little awkward moment. So besides the book, let me try the name again. What to say when the complete new guide to discussing abortion. And you will get 25% off most items at the 40 days for life gear.com shop. Yes, it's like Dealorama for $29. This is amazing. Um, I think you're going to want to get it. Again, check below, but I'm going to give you the 800 number again for that. It is 1 888 LIFE, L I F E 316, or you can go to www.40 days for life.com. I'm going to put it in the description below. It looks like a little V next to the title of the. Uh, the video just click on that and this information will be there i hope friends this bless you get your day get i don't know how i get this but you want to get on a mailing list day 41 you're going to want to get this god bless you friends get out there and save some babies and mamas too and really honestly you're saving whole families in some instances you know saving the baby save the mama save the dad the grandparents everybody grieves when a child dies right everybody grieves the loss of a child affects all of us. Everyone in the community has a loss of that unique human being not being born. We are all affected by this. And let's be real, we need to build up the family. We need to find some real solutions. And yes, there's tons of problems in society. You can't wait for the perfect moment to have a baby because that's probably not going to happen. But we can do our best to take care of mom, baby, and the family. Let's get out there and get some real resources for people. We can all do this. It starts with life. If the child doesn't have life, the rest of it's not going to matter. Life is the fundamental right, and let's learn how to save lives. I don't company people. There's so many things here. Building community, reaching out. If I believe you're my brothers and sisters in Christ, I have to help you with whatever it is. So if you have a concern, if you have a need that's not being met, um, you're in a crisis pregnancy, you know what, I'm going to put a number of, I'll put a number of resources, links to resources in the comments below. They're going to be for America. I don't have resources for other countries, but I would say go check with your local Catholic church is going to be your best bet. They have more resources there than you know. Yes, some individual parishes, you may run into some people who aren't the kindest or just the most personable it happens but keep trying reaching out we'll find you the best links we can god bless you friends seriously i mean you out there watching this whether you're considering joining 40 days for life or taking this training whether you're homebound and you just heart breaks over this pray pray for the babies if you are someone who has suffered an abortion or maybe you're parents had an abortion aborted one of your siblings whatever it is friends we're all in this together and we can pray together to end abortion and to restore life your life matters if you need help whatever whatever it's about 
Reach out, friends. Your life, you are so worth it. May God bless you abundantly and meet all your needs. May you reach out to others. May you be encouraged to speak out for life. And don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it, friends. God loves you. We love you. Take care.